What do you do mm. to keep minds focused? Because you're talking about epochal change. This isn't just about playing around at the edges. This is about a whole new era, a whole new great society, a whole new, uh, I don't know, basis for America. It's like about changing America. Do you really think that elected leaders and the people have the stomach to, to gut this out to the end? I think, uh, first of all, I, I almost every time I hear Mary Berry speak, it sends a shiver of uh, just pride and uh, respect for her insights. <laughs> and I think one of the things she um, uh, she thinks about, and I do as well, is uh, is our famously short attention span uh, in the United States. I think, frankly, that's something that uh, our current president understands better than most, and he continues to dangle the next shiny outrage out there, which we all then uh, uh, turn to. Um, but it's it's a phenomenon in this country that every once in a while, America reinvents herself. She re-examines what being an American means, what this notion of freedom made possible by equality, opportunity, and fair play demands of us, not just of government, um, but also a business of civil society, of individual uh, citizens. That's what we have to be about right now. That is what I want the Democratic Party uh, to be about. Uh, and that's what I want our nominee and the campaign, and more to the point, the administration mm -hmm. going forward uh, to be about. Sometimes that's going to be a complete well, you redo of it. Uh, and sometimes that's going to be some important reforms of systems. But all of these issues, the pandemic, uh, the uh, the excessive use of force by police, the jobs issues, they are all connected and they must be addressed comprehensively if we want America to be true to what we say we believe.